Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Welcome to the A to Z of real-time marketing and we have reached the letter F and that's all about finding email analytics because where do they live now? How do you actually get to find your analytics once you've sent your emails out? So we're going to go ahead and take a look. There's a couple of places in which you can go so let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we are looking at a list of emails. So we can see here we've got emails that are ready to send and we've actually used some of these in some of our journeys. So if we go into one of these and over on the right hand side we can see that there's a panel that's now available in the design tab for email analytics. So this is going to show some key metrics such as um, sent and delivery, um, unique opens, that kind of thing. So by default, it will show for all journeys, but if you've used this in multiple journeys, you might actually want to switch and, and view just for a specific one. Then we can click and look at delivery and interaction details. So you should be familiar with this from the outbound marketing, so where we can see how many have been sent, delivered, if there's any blocks, bounces, that kind of thing. And again, we could look for all journeys or just for a specific journey. And then we can see the interactions, so unique opens, clicks. Um, we can also see if anyone's marked it as spam. So we're going to get all of that information. We can also use a date range to find, and we can also export up to a thousand records as well. So we can take that data if needed. So that's looking at it from the email itself. Now what we can do is we could actually go ahead and look from a journey. Now this journey has two emails that have been used. We can see there, send an email, option B, option A. So each of those, if we click on them, we're going to be able to see the email analytics for each email that has been used throughout that journey. We can then click on the properties and we can see a full view of what the email looked like to make sure we're looking at the right one. Um, and then what we've also got is a link back to that email itself, which again can then take us through to look at the email analytics. We've also got the delivery and interaction details link either from here or from if we were looking at it from the journey. So you've got those two areas either from the email itself directly, which means you're then looking at email analytics for all journeys that use that email or can switch between the different ones, the different journeys, or you can go directly to the journey and view the email analytics by clicking on an email within the journey and then what you're looking at is the email analytics for that specific email. So either directly from the email to view all journey analytics for the email or go to the journey and view the email analytics just for that specific journey. So. It's not immediately obvious where to go and how to see them, but that's where we're looking at the specific email analytics. In a future video, we're going to look at reporting as a whole. This is specifically to look at the email analytics. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully this is just kind of a where do I go now compared with outbound marketing to real-time marketing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.